what is going on guys welcome back to another video of shorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully added the permission for selecting video from external storage and also when click of this button we can select the video and we have got the path of the video in our application so in this video when we selected the video this view will be gone and then we will show the post with so that we can post it to the firebase storage so let's get started So here we are showing the toast when we have got the video. We don't require this. Let's delete it. Now here what we will do, we'll create a method to hide this upload view and we will show the post view. So for that we will show post view. We'll call this method. We'll create method for show post view. And in this method we will write binding dot post view dot visibility will be dot visible and binding dot upload view dot visibility will be gone so in this way we can show the post view when video is selected that means here we can show the post view now let's run it and test click on upload video select any of the video so here we can see our post view here we can write the caption here is the image view but it is not visible because there is nothing in that and we have cancel and post button which will not work we have not added any listener to them so let's get back so first thing what we will do when we have got the video let's make a video model like we have made the user model we'll make a video model so let's create a kotlin class video model it will be the data class like we have in user model id email username profile picture in video model we will have some items that will be let's say video id title this will be the caption of the video let's add url so the url of the video because we are storing it in firebase storage uploader id also we require so that we'll get to know who has uploaded this video and one last item will be created time so this will show the time when it was uploaded so here the type will be timestamp so there are lots of timestamp but we have to select this com.google.firebase1 you have to select this one this is important so let's select this firebase1 timestamp and let's give timestamp dot now so it will get the current time when video will be uploaded so we have created the video model let's go to the video upload activity and whenever we click on post button we will add on click listener so in on create method what we will do binding dot submit post button dot set on click listener will create a method post video so let's minimize these methods here we will create post video in this thing first we will do we will show the progress bar so for that i will need progress bar also so for that i will create method set in progress in progress boolean and here we will do the same thing that we are doing in login activity so we can copy from here and paste it over here so binding dot submit post button will be gone submit post button will be visible so in this way we will set the in progress so in post video first thing what we will do we will check the caption first we'll check the caption either caption is there or not so for that if binding dot post caption input dot text dot to string dot is empty if it is empty what we will do we'll show the error binding dot post caption input dot set error error will be write something and we'll return from here so if caption is not there we'll return if caption is there then set in progress will be true so we'll start uploading so if there is value in selected video uri that means we have the path of the video in this uri first we need to store it to store in firebase cloud storage and we'll get the url from there that we will store video model store in firebase firestore so first video will be stored in firebase cloud storage and then we'll get the url of this video and with the video model we will store it in the database so let's get back to the firebase console and here we have to enable storage that is firebase storage we can click on this get started test mode done here we have created the storage we have one bucket here we can add the files so video file we will add over here and then we'll add the data to firestore database so let's get back to the project and go to assistant here tools firebase and we need to add dependency for cloud storage so let's click on this add the cloud storage sdk to your app accept changes so dependencies are added we can use firebase storage now first what we will do firebase storage dot get instance dot reference reference will create a child where we have the 
like collection like path so we will make videos collection means we will make a folder of videos over here we will give slash and inside that we will create a reference for the video so we will create a reference and inside that videos we will add a file so here for the file name what we will do we can use this from the selected video uri dot last path segment we can use this because it is a string that will be unique so we will get the last path segment so we can store this in a variable so it will be value uh, let's say video reference now with this video reference we will put file so we have method put file uri will be whatever the selected video uri dot add on success listener so in add on success listener when video upload task is done what we will do video reference dot download url dot add on success listener again we have to add listener so that we will get the download url of that video here we have got the download url that is the uri so you can say here download url you can name it and what we will do here we have to post it to the firebase fire store so for that i will create a different method post to fire store from here i will just pass post to fire store and download url dot to string so the url will pass and here we will create url string now it will add to the firebase storage and then give the url to post it to fire store now in here what we will do we will do the same thing what we were doing for user let's go and check what we are doing for user so here first we are creating the user model and then we were adding in the collection of users first we have to make the video model and then we have to add to the collection of videos so let's go back here let's create video model and it requires some values so what are the values you can check video id so what will be the video id for video id we have to make it unique so that what we will do we will take the user id and we will add underscore and the timestamp so that it will be unique every time so let's take the user id from firebase earth dot get instance current user from current user we will get the user id that is uid and here it will not be null because we are logged in and we will concat it with timestamp dot now dot to string so it will get the user id underscore timestamp so it will be unique every time now second field is title video title will get from this binding dot caption input dot text dot to string so we have got the title third thing is url we have the url directly now uploader id and create timestamp uploader id will be from here same uid and created timestamp will be timestamp dot now here it is giving error okay here it should be equals to instead of this colon so it will get this values so it will create a video model where video id will be this title url user id and then timestamp so we have got the video model now we have to put it in the firebase fire store so how we will do that firebase dot fire store dot collection collection let's say now videos dot document so document id will be video model dot video id that will be unique dot set document will be video model dot add on success listener so let's add failure listener also so here it will be success that means set in progress will be false and we will show a toast that video uploaded and once video is uploaded we can finish this activity so finish we will finish the activity in add failure listener set in progress will be false and we will show a message that will be video failed to upload due to some reason video might fail to upload again user will retry to upload so in this way we will get the file from the external storage we will put the file in the firebase storage and once we get the url of the video we will post it to fire store database so in this way video will be uploaded let's try and upload one video let's see how it goes run it click on add video here i will select this one so if i directly click on post it should show the error here it has done write something so let's say my first mini clip video hope you have enjoyed so let's say this caption we have added now we'll click on post let's see so the progress bar is visible that means it is uploading let's see if success message comes or not so we have got the success message video uploaded and the activity is finished that means we are in main activity let's check it is uploaded correctly or not in the storage if you reload this page we have the videos folder let's see so we have the video uploaded in our storage you can see over here if you click over here you can directly see the video so it will be played 
let's go to the firestore database either it is uploaded here or not either it is updated here or not you have the videos collection you can see over here so video id is uh, you can see over here user id underscore the timestamp either you can use nanoseconds only but i have used timestamp dot now it, it will give the full timestamp so that's okay because it will be unique every time here we have the created time title uploader id is correct url is correct and we have the video id so in this way we have correctly uploaded the videos to our firebase storage as well as firebase firestore so my first video is uploaded so in this activity one last thing what we have to do is when i selected some video here we have to show the thumbnail means we have to show either video is selected or not here we have added the image view that you can see over here here we have the image view but it is not visible we have to make it visible and this cancel button is also not working let's fix that and let's add that image view as well so for that what we will do first binding dot cancel post button dot set on click listener we'll just finish the activity on cancel button and for that image view we will use the glide library you can use glide or picasso library i prefer glide library so let's add that go to this github repository here we can add the glide library you have to just copy this dependency go to the gradle script app level build at gradle here you can say glide and then implementation for kotlin we have to do this and it should be double inverted so in this way glide will be added let's click on sync now so this is added let's close this and let's use this here so whenever the user selects the video that means here in video launcher whenever user selects the video will show the post view so when we show the post view we will show that image view also here what we can do we can check for selected video uri if it has some value in let we will check we can move this line also inside if it is not null then only we will do we'll do glide dot width width we have to pass the view that is binding dot post thumbnail view dot load what we need to load this uri so it will be it dot into into the target is also binding dot post thumbnail view it will load the image from video uri to our image view so let's run it and test it add video let's select any one of the video let's say this one so here we can see the thumbnail correctly cancel select any other video let's say this so we have got the thumbnail that means it is working and post is also working we have to write the caption and post so in this video we have successfully uploaded our video to the firebase storage and then we have updated in the firebase firestore in next video we will show all the videos in this main activity so that when user comes to home it will show all the videos available here so that he can swipe and view other videos also if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye